Hello Leo, welcome to your February 2021 love reading. This is going to be a general love reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Check out your other planetary placements and I do welcome my cross watchers as well. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. And please make sure you smash that like button. Feel free to leave a comment below if this resonates. And um, make sure you share my videos because the more you share, the larger my giveaways will be and the more giveaways I will have. And da, 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 da. <clears throat> if you're not, if you're new to my channel, welcome aboard. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you are notified when I upload new videos and uh, announce my giveaways and shout outs to my winners. Now keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa in these readings. I could be reading about you, but you say, no, that's not me. That's my person. Then go with it. Go with your intuition. Okay. Now, without further ado, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Messages and Guidance for, the, for Leo in Love for February 2021. What is the energy surrounding Leo in February 2021? And love doesn't have to be romantic either. Love comes in many forms. Okay, let's see what's happening in for Leo in February 2021. What is their energy? Okay, we have the Princess of Eros. And we have, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy. And we have the Five of Staffs. Somebody is speaking their truth about strife, conflict, competition, jealousy. You know, somebody may be speaking their mind. I feel that there is this jealous energy here. Okay. And somebody is definitely speaking up and speaking their mind about it. Okay, I, there may, somebody may have you in competition, and you might be like um, taking that sword and really cutting somebody down as well. Leo doesn't like competition. Leo is the king of their castle or queen of their castle, right? And so, however that resonates, but there definitely seems to be some conflict that somebody's seeing clarity over. And somebody speak in their mind. You might tend to have a sharp tongue, Leo, and letting somebody know where you stand or where they stand with you. Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides, clarity, messages, and guidance for Leo, please. Clarity, messages, guidance for Leo. For some of you, somebody's words may cause a conflict. And that and somebody's words might cause a conflict, and somebody doesn't care if it causes a conflict or not. And see where this goes. Okay, we have the nine of skulls. Skulls are pentacles. We have the Queen of Grails, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. We have the Hangman in Reverse, Virgo energy. We have the Strength card, your own energy there, Leo. We have the five of knives reversed. Okay, scepters are wands. Knives are um, swords. And we have the two of scepters or two of wands. Ace of scepters.
Nine of Knives reversed. Princess Scepters reversed. Leo Air Aries Leo Sagittarian energy. We have the Emperor Aries Taurus energy. Six of Grails or Six of Cups. Grails or Cups. And we have Temperance Sag Sagittarian energy. Okay, what I'm getting here is that we have somebody who's very upset, who's very, I'm going to say very ticked off here, okay? Um, so, and with this Ace of Scepters, this is somebody who is very passionate. There's, there may have been, I'm getting sex here, okay? And with this Nine of um, Knives here in the reverse, you know, somebody may have gotten themselves into a connection that turned out to be nothing more than sex. Okay. I think that somebody feels like that they were used, that um, they somebody put their heart into this connection. And now, but they're very, but somebody's abundant and independent on their own. I feel like you were dealing with somebody who liked their independence, who wanted to be single, who was in it for the sex. And there was a lot of competition. You may not have been the only person that they were sleeping with, okay? And here you're investing your heart into this and you find out that there, there is other competition. And it caused a lot of strife and a lot of conflict. It invoked um, emotions of jealousy okay and with this um, page of swords here you decided to speak your mind and you didn't care what kind of conflict it caused but you were speaking your mind and you were making things clear that you were not going to deal with this you I think you may have been taking that sword and cutting them off and I think that is exactly what you did you cut them off, you may have had a sharp tongue, and you told them exactly where to go. You told them exactly how it was here, that you were not gonna be their martyr. You were not going to sacrifice yourself for them anymore. You sacrificed your time, your energy, and your love for this connection, okay? With, uh, uh, and, and they didn't, they didn't commit in return. They were very, a very immature energy here, okay? And this in reverse is bad news or bad communication. So I feel like that you may have lashed out in them with anger. But I feel like that you moved forward. You found that strength. You found that courage, that inner strength within to gain control of your emotions, to gain control of the situation. And you lay down your boundaries. Okay. You demand structure. You, and it's like... Um, things being done a certain way, you demand respect. The emperor demands respect. Something this person was not giving you. They were not respecting you, okay? And now you move forward here. Um, and six of scepters is an X. So, you know, there may have been an X involved in all this whole scenario as well. Uh, we do have the five of swords reversed. You know, this ex of yours acted, I, ah, that's what it is. You knocked them down a few pegs. They took a blow to their ego. Because I feel this person is not used to rejection, okay? And because of their lack of commitment, because of their playboy or playgirl attitude, they're, because they wanted this sense of freedom, they felt like they were larger than charge. They felt like that the world is their oyster. They could do with whatever they want, with whomever they want. And without regard to anybody's emotions or feelings in the situation. And I think with your words, you knock them down a peg. They took a major blow to their ego here. Um, we have the two acceptors here. You went to battle. You chose a decision. You were at a crossroads and you chose a decision to go to battle. And you, you really let them have it. 
And now that that is all over, you got it out of your system. And temperance is, is about healing and restoration here. And this is about turning it back on an X and, and healing from the past. Okay, we have the three of grails here with the nine of grails. So yeah, that is somebody that is heartbroken. Um, this person that thought that they were Mr. Independent or Mrs. Independent is now feeling the pain and the heartache of you walking away. Lovers, okay, because you made the decision and love to follow, to do what was best for your own emotional stability, for your own emotional health here. And you made that decision to leave them in the dust. You tore them down and now they're feeling the pain here because now they're coming to this realization that you may have been their person here. Um, and then we have the moon in reverse, Cancerian energy here. That's Gemini energy, okay? Well, with this in the reverse here, you know, this is like the truth had come out. The truth about it all being about sex, okay? They, I feel like that they may have put, it was like smoke in mirrors. They told you in the beginning what you wanted to hear, but you later find out that they're sleeping with this one, they're sleeping with that one, and their cousin, and... Um, the friend's cousin, the friend's cousin's sister, or the friend's cousin's brother, or whatever the case. They're, sleep, they're spreading the wealth, put it that way. They're spreading their seeds. And with the four of knives here, you, you decide to put this to rest. Okay? You are not going to lose any sleep over this anymore. Because you hung in there. You sacrificed a lot for them. And got nothing back. Seven of knives. Because they were liars. You sacrificed yourself for a liar. And now you're turning your back on it. Okay. And we have the three of knives in reverse here. Um, and you are not going to. You have the strength to overcome this heartache and this pain. And I think that you're. You may be in a space of denying the pain or, you may, or you're in a process of healing from it. Okay, we have the Eight of Knives reversed with the Prince of Scepters. So you are definitely releasing yourself from this. Um, you may have been really caught up in your head with this. They may have even played some head games. That's what I'm getting. They played a lot of head games with you and you're, you've broken free of that. Wheel of Fortune here with the Emperor. So you were you took control of your own destiny and your own fate. And you said, they're not it. Okay. We have the Five of Skulls here. And they are definitely feeling the regret. They are definitely feeling the pain. Um, with the Five of Swords here. They are regretful for what they've done. Because they're now out in the cold. They can't believe that you are turning them down, that you are turning them away because you are the Empress. Taurus, um, Libra energy here. You are the Empress. You know you're po you are powerful. Now, just keep in mind, we do have the Emperor and the Empress on the board. Um, there is a power couple. There is, the, this seemed like this was the perfect match. You guys were the perfect match, maybe even a power couple here. But they could not see it. And now it seems like it is too late because they there is a lack of trust. There is no trust in this. Um, the Hierophant here, Taurus Energy, with the Six of Grails. Okay. Um, this is, you may, somebody may even have this ex coming back offering a commitment to you. It's like, now you're gone. Now they want a commitment. And then we have the Daughter of Scepters reversed. This is somebody who is not communicating. Okay. I think that their pleads for a commitment now is falling on deaf ears. It's kind of like, it's too late. You're too late. Okay. Let's see what the potential outcome is for you. We have the Six of Skulls. We have the Prince of Skulls. A lot of earth energy here for you, Cancer. 
Um, we have the Chariot, Cancerian Energy. There you are. And we have the Lord of Grails. Okay, what I'm getting here is that you, the end result is what's happened is somebody else come to you with another offer. Okay, I think that somebody is, there's an offer that is coming in that is solid and stable and loyal and secure. Okay, and I feel that you are moving forward, leaving the past behind and accepting this offer. There is definitely an invitation coming. Um, you may be getting asked out on a date, but I think that somebody is coming forward, somebody that is loyal, that is going to offer you their heart, and you're going to go forward with that. And as that is what is triggering this regret, this other person wanting to come in, back in, this ex wanting to come in and try to offer this commitment. And it's falling on deaf ears because I think that you've already moved on, and it is too late here. Devil energy, because you know that they are deceptive. They lied. They deceived you. They held you, your heart captive. And now you have this chance at a brand new beginning, a brand new love. You released yourself from that energy, and you are now moving forward in a new love. Okay? Somebody's offering you a true cup. It is the real deal, Cancer. So I would, I would say, if I, would t I think if I would title this, I would call it, uh, it, you're too late. I've moved on. Or cancer, I'm sorry, Leo. I keep saying cancer. You might have been dealing with a cancer. Um, Leo, you might want to go back and check out cancer's reading. Okay. Because there might be something in there for you. Because I keep feeling Cancerian energy here. Or it could be a... Now, the Lord of Grails could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could have a Cancer coming towards you. We've got Flirt. Yeah, very flirtatious. Uh, okay. And we've got Trust. You know, this. I think that you guys are going to be flirting with each other. This new connection. And it's safe to love. Okay. Yes, this person is trustworthy. There's going to be a lot of fun energy, lighthearted energy in the beginning. They're going to be very flirtatious with you. They're going to woo you and win you over. And there is a matter of trust. And um, it's safe for you to love again. Now I'm getting a couple messages here. You definitely moved on because your ex was very flirtatious with other people. They betrayed your trust. However, somebody new coming in that is going to be lighthearted, playful, fun to be around... And it's saying it's okay to trust them. It is safe to love. And yes, I am using less cards than I used for Aries through Gemini. Because I get just as much information. But it's just... get. I have... Less cards to work with, but really be able to develop the storyline without feel, feeling pressured or trying to read every single card, you know. Okay, here. Um, okay, we have the broken heart. Somebody's going to be broken hearted, blossoming in abundance over your abundance. Somebody's going to be jealous. Somebody's going to be broken hearted over your abundance. So this feels like a very positive read for me. For, for me. For Leo, to me, it feels like a very positive read. For your ex, not so positive. Anyhow, this is what I have for you. I do thank you for watching. Please, again, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment. Love you all and see you next time.